Morning everyone, um, welcome to our total sports class um, where we're going through different training methods. Um, my name is Chiara and we are going to be doing a Tabata styled class today. Um, so traditionally Tabata is a form of HIIT training or high intensity interval training. Um, and basically what that means is that you do short periods of hard work which are followed by short periods of rest. So how Tabata works is you do 20 seconds of um, work for an exercise, 10 second rest and you repeat that eight times um, so you end up having a four minute block of your work. So what we're going to do is we're going to be repeating two different exercises four times so it'll still be the four minutes but we're just going to alternate between two different exercises instead of just doing one exercise. Um, the equipment you're going to need today is just an elastic band, so I've got this stair band, and then um, a set of dumbbells, they don't need to be too heavy, anything between 2 and 4 or 5 kgs will be perfect. Um, and then if there is anyone with any niggles, please don't push through pain in any of the exercises, just modify the exercise, drop the weights or leave the weights if you would rather do it without, um, we don't want to um, cause any more injuries. Okay, we're going to start off with a nice easy warm up, so we're just going to start off with a march on the spot. And then just bringing those knees up higher. Okay, and then you're going to kick the legs across the body. Okay, and then you're going to do step touch from side to side. Now we're going to add in shoulder rolls moving backwards. Okay, and forwards. Good. Okay, and then moving to a jog on the spot. jumping jacks. Good. And relax. Okay, holding on to something if you need to, I'm going to hold on to the wall. You're going to do 10 forwards and backwards swings on each leg. And then 10 swings across the body as well. And 10 on the side. chest openers, keep the arms nice and loose, and then 10 up and down, alternating sides, between your knees so hook them in keeping the knees apart from each other you're going to lift the hips up so you can feel a stretch in your hamstrings and then from there taking your arm from your opposite toe to open up rotating through your back you're going to do five on each side look up at your thumb as it moves okay on the side Uh, 
that. Okay, then into a plank position on the mat or soft surface that you're working on. And we're going to push back into our pipe or downward dog. And then stride forward, trying to get your hand as close to the outside, your foot as close to the outside of your hand as possible with your other leg straight. And we're going to alternate sides, doing five on each side. directly out in front of you in a 90 degree angle so um, your lower leg is parallel to you and then the other leg is going to be doing that but towards the back okay and then from there both hands on the floor for support keeping your chest back and or chest open and your back nice and straight and you're just going to rock forward and backwards and you should feel a stretch in that front glute you're going to do five of these as well Changing sides, I'm going to show you from the side as well so you can see how my back looks. Okay, make sure both knees are at 90 degrees, pushing with your hands and leaning forward and backwards. So you're trying to take your chest forward and not take your chest down towards the knee as if you would if you rolled your back. straight into our session so for the first set all you need is your band um, and this is gonna be our first set where we've got two different exercises and you'll be alternating between the two exercises for the four minute block okay so it's 20 seconds of work 10 seconds rest and in that 10 seconds you need to change over to get ready for the next exercise as well okay so first exercise we're gonna be doing an isometric bridge so from this position you're gonna push through the heels rolling up into your bridge position and then holding that, and then with your band overhead, palms facing forward, you're going to be doing band pull apart while you hold that position. Okay, so make sure the band is tight enough so your feet are working in the back of your shoulders or on your upper back. Um, so that's the first 20 seconds. Second 20 seconds is mountain climbers. So you can pop the band down, roll over, and then running the knees in and out towards the chest. Either only popping them down at the end or popping them down the front and the beginning as well front and the back as you um, alternate legs. Okay, so that is what we're going to be doing for the first Tabata set. So get your band ready for your band pull apart and starting on our backs. Okay, getting ready for the bridge with the band pull apart. You are starting in three, two, one, and off you go. Keep those hips nice and high, pushing through the glutes and hamstrings. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and relax. Rolling over for your mountain climbers. Okay, three, two, one, if you go. Five 
five seconds left. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. Rolling straight over back into your bridge. Three, two, one, off you go. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, rolling over for your mountain climbers. We're on our second round. Three, two, one. Off you go. Keep those hips nice and low for your mountain climbers. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, and relax. Well done. Okay, that's halfway. Rolling over for your bridge. Three, two, one. Off you go. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Rolling over for mountain climbers. We're in our third round. Three, two, one, off you go. Five seconds left. And relax. Well done. Okay, running over, we've got one last round left. And off you go. Last 20 seconds of your bridge with the band pull apart. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, and the last set of mountain climbers. Three, two, one, off you go. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and relax. Well done. Okay, so short and sweet. That was our first Tabata round done. We're going to try and do three more. Let's grab some water, grab your sweat towel if you need it. Dumbbell, so you can hook a band to the side. Okay, and I'm going to be using these dumbbells. And for the first set, we're going to be doing a forward lunge with a contralateral frontal raise with your dumbbell. So what contralateral means is that you're doing an opposite arm to leg movement. Okay, so if you lunge forward with the right leg, you're going to lift with the left arm. Okay, so your weight bearing joints or limbs are going to be opposite to each other. Okay, so you're going to be alternating arms and legs on each one. Okay, and lifting as you lunge. Okay, just to shoulder height so you don't lift too high. That is our first exercise. Then second exercise, you can pop the dumbbells down and we're doing jumping jacks. Okay, so 20 seconds of the lunge and raise and then 10 second rest and then it's 20 seconds of your uh, jumping jacks as well. Okay, so we're going to start getting ready. We've got about 10 seconds left of our rest. Okay, so remember using dumbbells, lifting the opposite arm to the leg that you lunge forward with. Okay, everyone ready? Four minutes of work, alternating between our two exercises. 
Starting in three, two, one, off you go. Remember lifting as you lunge forward. Ten seconds left. And relax. Dumbbells down. And remember with that raise, you are lifting it actively and not just swinging up and using momentum. Okay, off you go for the jumping jacks. Down, 
you know where the dumbbells are again. Okay, so squat and press, but you're moving at the same time, so don't squat, stand up, and then press the dumbbells separately. Okay, you want to do them at the same time. That's the first exercise. Second exercise is going to be side shuffle, so you don't need a lot of space. I'm going to work to the length of the mat, so it's about one and a half, two meters. Okay, slight bend in the knees, and then shuffling out to the side with a nice quick movement. Okay, keep those steps nice and short and quick, and stay on your toes with those hips pushed back. Okay, so you're in a kind of quarter squat position. Right, that is our third Tabata set. We have about 20 seconds left of the rest, so last sip of water if you need it. And then grab your dumbbells for your squat and press. Okay, everyone ready? Three, two, one, and off you go.
Okay, what we're going to do for the next set is going to be a core exercise with a conditioning or cardio type exercise. Okay, so you are going to need your band. No, sorry, you're not going to need your band for this one. You're going onto your back for the core exercise, and it's going to be knees are going to be bent up to 90 degrees, hands behind the head for a bit of support. But remember, the hands are just there to give additional support so you're not pulling your head up with your hands. Keep those elbows out to the side and in your periphery, and you're using your upper abdominals to keep the head lifted. And then from there, you're going to extend one leg down to the floor at a time. Okay, but not touching the floor, just to hover over the floor. Okay, so keeping that head up nice and high. And then we're going to jump up, and we're going to be doing our jump variations. So what we're going to do is try and get through 10 of each. So it's going to be 10 double leg hops, 10 on the right leg, 10 on the left leg, 10 forwards and backwards, and then 10 side to side. Okay, so it's 10 each of those and in the 20 seconds, trying to get through as much as we can. Okay, so we've got about 20 seconds left of our rest again. Have your last sip of water, and then we're going to go to our last Tabata set. Okay, so we can start going down onto the floor to get ready. Okay, so remember it's a crunch with your leg extensions for 20 seconds. Starting in 3, 2, 1, off you go. Try to keep that head lifted as high as possible. Yeah, and remember to keep breathing, you don't want to hold your breath in. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, up you get for your hops. Remember, double leg, right leg, left leg, forwards and backwards, side to side. And off you go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, and relax. Go. Okay, so I think we'll cut off the side to side and we'll just do the other set of four. Okay. Into your crunch with the leg extensions. Off you go. Five seconds left. And relax. Okay, up you get. Okay, so I'm going to do double, right, left, and forwards and backwards. Off you go. Left leg. Forwards and backwards. And relax. Well done. Okay, that was round two. Getting ready for round three. Okay, three, two, one, off you go. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, I forget. Getting ready for our hops. Three, two, one, off you go. Forwards and backwards. Three, two, one, and relax. Well done. Okay, last round. Last bit of your leg extensions. Five 
Five second lift. And relax. Okay, up again for the last set of your hops or jumps. And three, two, one, off you go. Touch the straight leg or straight leg's foot. Okay, you want to reach as far as you can, so if you can only get your shin or your ankle, that's fine. Switching over to the other side. Straighten one leg, cross the other leg over, and then you're gonna squeeze that leg into your chest. Try to sit up as straight as possible, and you should feel it stretching along the glute. straight to the side and you're just going to sit backwards onto your foot and you should feel it stretching in your inner thigh or your adductors of that outstretched leg. You might feel that these will be a bit stiff after the side shuffles if you haven't been doing much lateral movement in your training. Okay, switch over to the other side. Good. 
And then next one, stretching the calves out a bit. So into your pike position, then you're just gonna do 10 slow calf ball pounds per leg. Heels down to the floor. Yeah, and then the last one, you can pop your knees down, knees and you open feet together, and you're gonna sit back into your child's pose, arms stretch out as far in front of you as possible. today um, we will be going through a few more different styles of um, this kind of training in the next few sessions so um, do feel free to join and then if you have any questions please email me at cbwata at cisa.com and I'll try to get to those uh, questions. Thanks everyone, see you next time.